Today I'm sharing with you a behind the scenes of how I use Acuity Scheduling as my scheduling calendar and booking software for my virtual yoga classes and also for my small yoga studio. So I'm gonna give you a behind the scenes. That's why this video is a little bit longer. A lot of times this kind of content is only available in my coaching programs and in my courses, but I know this can help so many people in order to automate and systematize this process so you don't need to do all this back and forth with collecting payments and getting the Zoom link out to people. It's all integrated within this. And at just $15 per month, it's kind of a no-brainer as far as the cost. It is. It does everything that you need, need it to do and $15 a month, come on. So I do have a link down below and the link down below is also an affiliate link. And affiliate links are awesome because it's a way that you can support your favorite people by signing up for a product or a software or something that someone uh, someone promotes and it helps that person. So I actually get a tiny little commission if you were to sign up through my link. And I want to share that with you because it's also a way that you can start uh, creating more income in your own yoga business by referring different products. I love acuity scheduling. I always recommend it. And um, here's a little behind the scenes. So check it out. So here on my yoga studio website, I have a place where someone can sign up for my classes and they don't have to email me. They don't have to do anything manually with me or contact me. They just click on sign up for a studio class and it takes them to this external site, which actually isn't part of my website at all. It's part of a scheduling and booking software. So it's got my logo and everything I set up here myself so that people can click the sign up button and go right to signing up for the class. And that's actually inside of a software called Acuity Scheduling. And I wanna talk about it a little bit because it's been really great for saving me money, time, and hassle of people signing up for my classes. And it just streamlines everything. So if you log into Acuity and if you sign up, you do get a free seven day trial um, to test it out. But then you can also just set things up before you actually go and decide to pay. And it costs $15 a month to be part of this, which is not a lot at all. In fact, the cost of a year subscription of it is oftentimes less than one month of a yoga studio scheduling and booking software, um, which is a lot more powerful, sure, but Acuity Scheduling does everything that you need it, need it to do. So in here, you'll see a calendar, which you may not have anything right away. If I go over to the left side, this is sort of my dashboard where all of the things happen. And I can click on clients, but then you'll see their phone numbers and their names. I won't do that. Same with reports, who bought what, when did they buy something. But then we're going to get into making your site pretty. So first of all, I do want to talk about the scheduling page link. So you don't need a website. This is why. Because you can simply use what they give you. Ashesyoga.com or .as.me. You can also change the link. You can change that link. You can't change the .as.me, but you can change your name here. And then that will take you to all of your appointments and things, like everything that someone would want to purchase. I don't necessarily like using this page because I have group classes and I want people to see the calendar, but this just has everything on it and you can make this pretty in a way that people can purchase things. But this isn't what I want people to see right away. It's, it's too much information. So then instead I go down and just decide on what I want people to see. Do I want them to see all classes, which is just the calendar? So if I click that one, it looks more like what you saw prior where you can choose a class to sign up for. Or if you click on just, you know, just the two hour studio rental and I click on that one, it'll give you the option to just do that two hour studio rental at what time do you want? So um, that's what I typically use to have people signing up. And I've got some categories here and we'll get to those in a moment. Um, and you can have as many categories and things as you want. So you can also customize the appearance. So add a logo. This is where I personally put in this information. I typed it in, scheduling instructions. One thing I love is that you can select your time zone. I don't know how how frustrating it was 
to keep reminding people that this is Pacific time. This is Pacific time. Please adjust your time zone. And now you don't have to remind people of that because they choose their time zone and it adjusts accordingly. It was this very frustrating thing, a seemingly simple thing, but it's kind of a big deal. And one other thing I do want to know is that people have to buy a package or a membership if those are options before they sign up for a class. So you can't choose a class, let's say um, here, you can't choose to sign up and then it's going to give you options to purchase at all. You'd, you'd have to pay drop in if you, if you do that. Uh, so you have to sign up for, or you have to buy a package or a membership before you schedule your class, because then you're given a code to sign into that class. Let's just give you a little sneak peek of that. So after you fill out your information, click the box, you would redeem your coupon or package, which is what you'd have to buy before you sign up. So that's one thing that's just a little bit confusing, but I'm fine with it and it's been working totally fine. So no big deal. A few other options there too. Scheduling page options, I'm not gonna go through that really in, in depth, but a few things I changed was I'm not hiding the prices and I do allow, um, I don't hide the spots remaining in class. Because I have studio classes that are limited to six, I want people who's, who are signing up to know how many people are in that class to decide whether or not they feel comfortable coming. Okay. And then now we're getting to the business of it. So your availability is going to be pertinent if you are a private yoga teacher or you're you're asking people to book their own times for consultations, if you have work hours, that kind of thing. Uh, for me, it's only available, I've got studio rentals here. I don't do private sessions, but this this would be, I would set the calendar to that if I did. And then appointment types. This is where you can decide if you want group classes, there's a services would be like your private sessions, classes, uh, consultations, aromatherapy, I don't know, anything that you offer, uh, a dog walking even, whatever you are doing, photography sessions. Um, you could do a new type of group class, or you can also make a type of service into a group class. So let's say um, you have multiple styles of classes like I do here. Make sure that you have each class and each person, if you have multiple people teaching like I do, they have to be its own uh, class. So I can't mix and match power yoga with a different instructor. It would have to be, you know, if I have power yoga with Ashley and Erna was subbing, I would have to cancel that class or, or change the class to this one. I can't mix and max, match instructors. So you'll notice I'm on here in a few ways. I've got power yoga, Ashtanga yoga, yoga with Ashley, and um, each person has their own class. And if Sydney wanted to teach a different kind of class, not just yoga with Sydney, I would have to add another or I have to duplicate this one. I could simply duplicate it and then change the name to restorative yoga. But let's actually click on one of these so you can see what it is. If you're adding a class, a group class, I've got the name, how long it is, the price, a picture, you don't need a picture, but I thought it was fun, and it is public. So I checked the box, this is a group class or event. This group class, maximum number of six people. That's how many we are legally allowed to have in our studio right now, so I keep it at six. And if I want to offer the class, there's a button on the side over on the right side that says offer class. You would choose a time. Let's say I'm gonna do that day at five o'clock p.m. But I don't just want one, I want multiple every Tuesday for four weeks or for eight weeks, or you could do every other Tuesday, every third, a daily, daily only weekday. So you can choose recurring to make it, to streamline the process of adding the times in. And I'm not gonna add those because I don't need to. And I've got my studio rental and virtual. Anything, any classes not offered will, will pop in down here. I keep them here though, I don't delete them completely because um, they're all, the boxes are all checked, so I can always change the type of service. I'll, I'll tell, you that, tell you that in a moment, but I have a bunch of classes down here that I can always change um, later on or add back in if I wanted to. Coupon codes, I'm not going to show you those, but you can add coupons. I actually have a bunch of them added because I added a bunch of my 
For my old software, anyone that had a class package or classes left on their package, like five classes of a 20 class package, they got a coupon that they could use five times. So I have a secret code for them that they will type in and it's got five uses on it or seven or whatever the amount was. And um, then they get a free class, but you can also do you know discounts and such too, which is awesome. Okay, and then intake form, um, I have two that's that are uh, actually reliable. So I've got my liability waiver and my hourly rental agreement. But what I'm concerned with more is this liability waiver. So if you want a liability waiver or a intake form, um, definitely make one for your group classes. I think it's required for those of you who uh, to be covered by insurance to have this. You could do a new terms and conditions, but I actually suggest just making a custom form because it's pretty much the same. If you do a terms and conditions, it's just the description and I have read the terms above. If you go to actually create a form, you can do the same thing, except add a few more things. So the description is my liability waiver. So my liability information is inside the description, done. Now that way at the bottom I have, I have read and agreed to the terms above and that's a required checkbox someone would have to check in order to uh, sign up for my class. And that's this is why I don't delete any of these classes is because I have them already checked here that you have to use, you have to fill out this waiver with them. Um, so if I wanted to change any of these that are not being offered, I could like Vinyasa Flow with yet another teacher um, can be changed to a class that actually is has a teacher on it but anyway I just wanted to put a bunch of classes on there and yep you've got all these options so if I wanted to add something like a text box um, how old are you I won't ask that when's your birthday uh, what is your biggest struggle with yoga how often do you want to come um, what you put on your intake form is up to you I only have a few things here I just I want to know if people have any conditions our limitations and street address and city I like to send cards sometimes so this isn't required I just like that information and then packages gifts and subscriptions we're gonna not do that and I'm not gonna actually click on these because then you can see who has them um, but this is where you can do subscriptions or class packages so here I have subscriptions um, you can choose five classes a month they don't roll over or nine classes a month or unlimited. Uh, I also have a new student offer in a different section. I could have it in one of these sections, but honestly, I, I don't know. I wanted it in its own section. So let's just pretend I'm going to do a new package or subscription and I could title it 10 classes, 10 virtual classes, price is $100, category, uh, you can choose, you can click your, make your own categories. And then down here, it can be redeemed for a total number of minutes or dollar amount. I prefer dollar amount because all of my studio classes are $20. All of my virtual classes are $10, um, except that one. I don't know what that one's doing there. It's hanging out. Um, so I put a certain amount of dollars, but, but minutes work too. So if all your classes are 60 minutes, you might say for 600 minutes, of these appointment types and you click on all the virtual ones and you probably won't have as many as I do here like I've got a lot but you know I'm working with it it's fine I could delete some I don't want to whatever um, back we are not going to save that um, but here are mine I have I also have a drop-in studio class and virtual class available to purchase here just in case someone's not like ready to commit to a specific time but they want to buy something already so this is a package of one class so you can redeem it for twenty dollars of a class or ten dollars of a class memberships if you want to do a subscription this is recurring you can do per month per week per every so many weeks forever until canceled is typically what I do for memberships because they can cancel them themselves but let's say you did like yoga teacher training yoga mat yoga YTT and you wanted to do a payment plan so let's say it's three thousand dollars you want five hundred dollars a month for five months but there's a five hundred dollar deposit so initial setup fee is five hundred dollars so that would be a total of three thousand dollars when it's all said and done so this is a way that you could do a payment plan for a bigger ticket offer um, if you wanted to 
and you create more information. And this is uh, every subscription. You can roll over remaining appointments or reset them. If I was doing YTT here, I might just have like, um, this is a payment plan, so I, I'd put a new section for yoga teacher training, but we're not gonna do that. But this is just a, a way you can collect payments without having to actually like get in people's faces and do that. Same here, you can create some coupons and check on your subscribers. Again, not gonna do that, because then you'll see them. So let's go back. Ooh, require clients to agree to the terms. Mm, that's a good option. And let's go back. And the last thing I wanna show you is the integrations. Integrations is how you're going to integrate Zoom. So if you have a Zoom account, I highly recommend it and please pay the $15 so you can go over 40 minutes and you can actually schedule things and it's, it's $15, come on. So $15 for Zoom and $15 for Acuity and you are set to go. You don't need a website, you just have to start talking about your classes and your offerings. So Zoom is what you would do to integrate it and it will walk you through the process. I also have integrated my email management system or software, which is ConvertKit, um, but you might use MailChimp or one of these others. This is just so that the people that sign up for my classes, even if it's free, is a way to build my email list. So that means that everyone who signs up for a class gets added to a specific list in my email management system. So I have that all set up and you can also, oh, I, I should set up QuickBooks. I use QuickBooks. You can set up other things, anything else you use, um, just connect it together. It's so wonderful. Um, payment settings, last one. I want to change this to Stripe and PayPal, but it says that it'll delete any saved cards you have on file for a client. So I'm not sure I want to do that, but having the option for people to pay through PayPal is so wonderful because a lot of, it's just, a, it's a lot easier for people in different countries and a lot of people feel safer, safer with PayPal. So, um, I would suggest setting up Stripe and PayPal, or if you use Square, Square and PayPal, and setting that. So sign up for an account, change the settings, uh, PayPal settings, make sure you sign up for all of those, um, and you can go through all of that. And, and then down below, there's a few other things you can change, like email settings. You can change what people see, or reminders, or cancellations. You can change uh, all the things of what's written inside of these. Um, I don't do much with that because meh, I don't need to. And also change your account. So that's that's getting into all the little like finer details, but know just how to set up your availability, your appointment types, create an intake form, and then get going. So once you have everything set up, you go back to your scheduling page link. I'm gonna give people my calendar or my, my classes. Check out what classes. I'm gonna preview it and it's going to go to my classes and then someone could sign up, go down, read the liability waiver and book their class. Boop, boop. And I'm not going to put anything in here. Okay, that was the um, overview of Acuity scheduling and how I use it. And then once again, it is on my website. I just have these linked to externally go to the calendar for my studio class, externally go to the calendar for my virtual class. And also up here, I have the sign up instructions. First, see the pricing and packaging options. Just makes things easier to have a scheduling and booking software that you can use. Someone can pay you, they, they, they can cancel if they need to, if they get a confirmation email, the Zoom link is in there, everything is integrated. It just makes it so, so simple. Yes, there are a few other parameters and things that you can set up within a like the ability to cancel and change your appointment within 24 hours. You will have to go in and customize that. Just look in all of the settings to make sure that everything's okay because I had it set that you couldn't book anything 24 hours in advance, but now I have it set that you can book something um, right up to the minute, but you can't cancel or change within an hour of class. So check out all those settings and have fun playing around with Acuity. Good luck and I can't wait to see more yoga teachers out there offering their virtual classes and online classes.
And that was our overview of how to use Acuity Scheduling for your yoga business. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, a like, leave a comment if you feel so called to do so, and make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell notification so that you can get notified when I post new videos to help you further along in your yoga teaching career.